I see this generation as the breakthrough generation where things will change. Their parents will have faced the same the same problems and issues and they won't have had someone like you, you know, or like people like you talking to them about this. They won't have had anyone saying to them, you can do this. And so it's the parents as well who might need help. I don't necessarily agree with that because I grew up with my grandparents. My grandmother is my biggest supporter. She was always telling me I can do whatever I set my mind to. So this idea that we weren't being told this, it, it goes for some some situations in some families. And a lot of the time, like for instance, in African families, they were telling their children, you can't play football as a career. Look how it's turning out now with football. That That's probably you know, a big mistake. In other communities, you can't do music. You know, you need to go be a doctor and an accountant, so on and so forth. And look how that's turning out. And then there's people who love video games. You can't do video games as people are playing video games professionally. I think it's just down to individual parenting, not necessarily parenting as a group, and also in schools being, you know, people just understanding that people want to express themselves in different ways or they have things that they perceive as their best qualities. And you should just try and nurture that and not necessarily get into a trying to control and mold and make them go down a certain path. You kind of just guide them to making their best decisions and then you trust that you've done a good enough job so that they choose things that hopefully they can excel in. How hard have you found it to get where you are? Wow, uh, very hard. And, uh, you know, again, it, I wish it were just about what I put on paper or just about what I had to say. And, you know, the decision rests solely on that. But that's not been the case. The case has been, it's all this other stuff that comes with it. And it's a lot of people critiquing things that that's not what their job is. It's not to go above and beyond that. If, if someone's going to, you know, critique writing and make it about how a story should unfold that they have no knowledge of, then clearly, that's not going to be applicable or it's not it's not inbounds basically like you know you wouldn't tell jk rowling that harry potter is just unrealistic you wouldn't go it's her story and you kind of your job is to kind of see the merits in her story and help her sell it and it, that's not how it's been for me so that's probably been the hardest thing it's just the frustration i feel from people who are as far as i'm concerned are not trying to get it they're not trying to understand they're not coming from a place of oh i've never experienced this can you explain it's always oh it can't be this it can't be that and it's just never helpful tell me about your film the jam what's it about uh the jam it has a few different meanings so jam is in the short the abbreviated version of jamaica that you see like on you know on your on your screen when it comes to sports and stuff um the jam is in people jamming you know you know relaxing being together jamming is in the musical sense of you know people bringing their own instrument to the party and jam is in an abbreviation for j and more so it's about me and my family my friends the way i think the kind of struggles i've gone through and kind of why i do what i do and it's just kind of just giving it to you i wouldn't say raw but just kind of it's unfiltered almost it's very very natural very organic and it's me with you know sort of the people that mean the most to me or some of the people that mean the most to me and if youngsters watched watched your film and they came up to you and they said you know i want to be a writer what would your advice be to them get right <laughs> just start immediately like don't even think about it. it's one of those it's like um well i wouldn't say it's like swimming you don't just jump into a pool um, if you have no idea how to swim but with writing it's trial and error we all go through we'll have a process that would allow us all to write in some fashion i don't you know a lot of people say everyone can write it's true and not true they say you should write what you know do you believe no, in that? No, no, cuz then like, like I said JK Rowling. Exactly. Right. What does she know about dementors <laughs> and magic and no. No, you don't you write some of what you know, or you write what you feel and you write what you want to write. I think you 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 put that in a blender and you end up with something good. The idea that you just write what you know is why a lot of things are just and and the end day when you read or watch something you're not watching something for you to go oh yeah i've seen that already you you want to see something new and for you to see something new it's got to be more than just what you feel and sorry what you know sorry it's got to be outside that's got to also be what you feel because what you feel might be different to what other people feel and you know that's how you make things fresh and new and unique and i i think that yeah you mix what you know with what you feel and what you want to write and then that ends up being something good